one thing that I've really been noodling with a lot lately is that it's a million little things that will make you successful. And just and this has been really making me cognizant of what I'm doing. And, and I ran out of time tonight. It'll go in next week's uh, webinar, but just a little spoiler alert. I try not to do too much day trading, but I get sucked into a little bit here and there. But one thing I do is I watch 30 minute charts. And there's a reason for that. I, we can get into that next week. But I watch 30 minute charts. And the basic reason is not to get caught up in the zigs and zags. And I discovered that by accident. And I'll retell the story next week. But long story endless, with the five minute chart, it's like everything just, you know, this bar that looks like that is really like that big on a 30 minute bar. And you can end up chasing your own tail. And that was like another one that, that came up. And the more, the point I'm trying to get you, believe it or not, I have one is the more cognizant I am lately of my trading, my mistakes, my trials and tribulations, what I forget to do and everything, it's just really driving the point home with me. And, and a lot of what I do here is for me from a selfish standpoint, okay? So if I'm talking about a million little things that maybe I need to be doing some of these little things, okay? And that's a great thing about the educational business and, and the consulting business and the analysis business, it, it, I'm, I'm forced to do all this work and it's it it's i don't mind doing it. i enjoy doing it but it's from self from a selfish standpoint it, it makes me a better trader it makes me better at a lot of this stuff and and hopefully you guys are benefit benefiting too in the process and that's the ultimate goal and a lot of things that i tell you starts with the premise of man i wish i knew this 30 years ago it's like as i was getting ready to do this i was thinking I've been saying 30 years lately, and it's like it's probably more like 35, which is which is scary. Anyway, number 348, 148 is don't create themes, let things find you through TA. Years ago, I had a buddy, and um, a lot of two drink minimum stories with that. So if we ever get together, have a couple beers at the bar, I'll tell you some stories. Uh, usually, when I speak in person, I talk about him a little bit he uh his claim to fame was he ran an account up uh, like a five thousand dollar account or something to a million and I, I saw the receipt so i know he did it uh but then he subsequently blew up and ended up on my front doorstep homeless and uh, he's no longer with us he uh he liked to drink a lot <laughs> and that was his ultimate demise again you know two drink minimum i guess we shouldn't be celebrating the death of an alcoholic with alcohol but what else would you celebrate it with i don't know but don't don't create the themes, let themes find you. But anyway, long story endless, back in the day, and I was just kind of getting the technical analysis back then, and uh, late 80s, early 90s maybe, and he had a broker cold called him, and there were some big floods in the Midwest or wherever, Mississippi, River Valley, and uh, his point was that all these farmers just planted all their crops, and then the all these floods came through and washed away all their crops. And with those crops washed away all the fertilizer. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, the, you know, down comes the rain, down comes the rain and washes the fertilizer out. So this guy was, was bullish on these fertilizer companies, I guess like potash or something. Well, I watched those companies and it never did anything, but the theme was, was pretty cool, okay? I, I, another theme that found me by accident was when, and I've said this a hundred times, maybe a thousand, but Academy Sports set up as an IPO as the first pullback. I'm like, this looks like a fantastic setup. I feel like I have to take it. It's a must take trade as opposed to a mistake trade. And I'm like, oh, geez, it's a, it's a brick and mortar retailer and COVID just hit and who's going to, go shopping at a brick and mortar retail. Well, I didn't think about that. And you don't have to think about these things. That's a point, okay? I didn't think about that people might want kayaks and fishing poles and just something to get out of the house because they're stuck be stick, sick of being cooped up. And that turned out to be one of our biggest winners. And we wrote it for about a year or so, if memory serves. But anyway, so that was a theme. And I don't think... And you know, let me know if you if you came up with that theme on your own and ran on Bud Academy. 
because I, I, I doubt that you did, and, and maybe you did, but the from what I've seen, 99 out of 100 themes do not work. And maybe you'll get lucky and hit on that one theme. Now, I got both sides of my mouth, but the, the, the person who did make that million bucks, he did notice there was a shortage in his industry of memory chips. So I don't know if that's a theme or whatever. And it just so happened there was only one manufacturer at the time, it was Micron, and he would just buy a shit ton of Micron options. I remember his, see, here we go, two drink better one, but I remember his first trade, I had a phone call. He said, if I want a stock to go up, do I buy call or put? And so I was like, call, okay, so hung up the phone, and two minutes later, the phone rings. I got the broker on the phone, and he wants to know if he's buying to open or buying to close. I'm like, he's buying to open, Jimmy, just, you know, whatever, leave me alone. <laughs> And it turns out he did really well with that, but his equity swings were brutal, 100, 100K a day and things like that. And he just had a lot of fun with it until he blew up. Anyway, in the, geez, I'm going to the two drink minimum part, but on top of all that, he didn't bother paying taxes on it and then blew up. And somehow he still owed that like tax money, but that's another story altogether. Good luck uh, getting in that IRS. <laughs> Anyway, like I said earlier, here's like a, a boring old stodgy company. I mean, Corning, that's kind of boring, right? Is an AI play. And now a small scale nuclear company is an AI play. So these themes are finding us through the technical analysis. Don't bet the farm on these themes. But if you see a setup in AI or something that's unearthed through all this, then by all means, go for it. If it's an FDS setup, of course. <laughs> 